thanks again for watching another installment of what I learned on my cross-country bike ride with my dog. I did it five years ago, and today I thought I'd bring my dog, Ferris. Come here, buddy. Get famous. Maybe not. Hopefully he'll show up. On this five mile or five month bike ride that we did from Ocean Beach, California to Key West, Florida, I learned a lot. Come here, buddy. Come on. No. One of the things I learned about was how important a simple smile is. This came up quite a bit along the ride because somewhere around Texas, month maybe two, I and Ferris really started to get wild. My beard grew out way past my face. And I would notice, along with the hair growing outside of my face, I smelled. I smelled the high heaven. In Texas, what starts to happen is that the humidity started to go up and all day long, you're sweating. I had one shirt that I really loved because it was long sleeve. It kind of helped me from baking in the sun. I thought it had a cool design on it too. Ventilated, pretty rad. But that thing really started to smell. So when I would walk into, say, a convenience store or was in an area that clearly I stuck out where people were wondering what and why I was there. I would notice that if my beard or mustache covered past my mouth and I would smile, people would not resonate with me as well as if my mouth was had a good defined smile. You know, the crap that I eaten earlier wasn't still hanging in my face. So, you know, you do a little manscape on your adventure across the country. And it was very noticeable. I would walk into a room, people would take a look at me. If I couldn't show them the smile, then for some reason, they couldn't connect with me. They couldn't see that I was a person. They couldn't see that something was different about what I was doing and why I was there. And this smile, concept, if you will, kind of stuck with me. On the bike ride, I would start to, at night, meditate with just a slight smile in my face. I went on to read that when you smile, it automatically releases endorphins into your body that make you smell and smell and feel good, feel good as well. So the smile really became something, uh, that I had to use almost as offense on this bike ride. I mean, when you're coming into a town in the middle of Alabama, you got a dirty dog with you and you smell. You just came out of the rain from that thunderstorm that just happened 20 minutes ago. You need a way to disarm people immediately. And the smile was it. I think the smile for any situation is a phenomenal addition to who you are and what you're about. If you're smiling, that means you're open. And if you're open, you're ready to learn, you're ready to receive, and you're ready to give. But the opposite of that is not having that smile, is having that grumpy feeling inside that is so tremendous that you are refusing to crack your lips and let your body do what it will naturally do, which is make you happy. Happiness was what this bike ride was all about, and that smile really drove it home. Whether I was hanging out in a convenience store, come here, buddy. Whether it was, come on, it was me and my dog, come on, on our trip, on our adventure across the country. It was awesome. Ferris even smiled, and I can guarantee this too. One of the things that would always happen is that we would not be moving up a hill fast enough. And I would always notice, and you could almost feel the tension of people behind you, like this guy and all of this stuff is in the way of my road. And as soon as they could get close enough and see my doggy, oh no, where are you going? I'm trying to make you, I'm trying to talk about you, buddy. See my doggy's little smile pop out from the side of the chariot. You could feel it. People would automatically go from, this son of a bitch is in my way to, does he have a dog? Where are you going? What you doing? How are you going to resist this, huh? 
Here's my doggie. Mm. Remember that time we ran across the country? Yeah. All right. So if I can impart any one piece of information from this bike ride, this lesson, is to remember to smile. When you smile at somebody and you look them in your eye and they see who you are, they can see the niceness, the love, the affection that's inside of you. But if you don't smile, then you're denying other people and yourself all that goodness. Thanks again for watching. You can always go to my website, rememberadrian.com. You can always find me anywhere at rememberadrian.com because at the end of the day, I want you to remember Adrian. Have a good day.